Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. In our last video, we finished our mission in Pharos, and this time, we're talking to crewmates. We're talking to Garrus about some disgusting things. <laughs> Better left unsaid. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the anyway. Best. They sent the military after him, but I gotta get my mind off of that. Yes, they did. I went to Pat and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military. <laughs> I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping All right. to that, but Commander, take When you talk to your crewmates, you can get a... They can either send you the coordinates to a place they want to go, or not. But anyway, want, hey there, Rex. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turk. And what right to story? He was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who. As long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told him all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. Gerard. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met in the hollows, in the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. Rex's story as any place doesn't make any sense. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. But I in did. time, I'll understand each crewmate's well, story. There are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? Whoa, that's... He was. That was unexpected. I think Rex's talked, story just got a whole lot interesting. Get when it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men left from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my 
my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Anyway. Shepard. Time to talk to Tally. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you seem happy. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Starin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. Hang on, just it has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. Sorry, I had to turn off the fan. <laughs> What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Huh. I'm responsible for trillion. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken yeah, I enjoy being a dick. To my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Then you if can I see do, right through Tally's mask. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Well, that's over. It's time to get to know more about Liara. Oh, fuck. Hang on a second, hang on a second. I have to go back down there for Ashley. very stupid of me to leave out Ashley since she's at the bottom with Rex and Yaris and Tally. Oh, before I 
go. You said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. <laughs> That's unprofessional. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up what's her name? To Sony? Liara. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. Heh, <laughs> you're out of line. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. It no, I'm interested in Tally. Your orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. You're lucky to have a close family. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your family situation. Yeah, tactical. Or lack thereof. Relax, Williams. I've dealt with it. Ask me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles? No problem. Dealing with a foot in my mouth? Not so good with that. Things were what tense between Sarah and me. What did you mean by that? Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Link Warning, spoiler alert. Emails, and I'd tell her to relax. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this oh. let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. Holy he shit. Won, she just she wasn't there anymore and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? My dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have Interesting. a Interesting. He'd say, space is beautiful, but when you he say family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Well, Since anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Climates, so feel free to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and stay tuned for the next video.